Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a C sharp program to find the factorial of a number entered by the user. The factorial of a positive integer, let's say n, is denoted by this symbol and we call it as n factorial, is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. So if we have n in here, then this n factorial equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 and similarly we go it up to 3 2 or 1 for example if the user is going to enter the number 4 then 4 factorial is equal to 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 here if we look at this then we can easily say that 4 factorial equal to 4 multiplied by 3 factorial and we can divide the 3 factorial as 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 and similarly we can break down this one. Now another thing that you have to remember is 0 factorial is equal to 1 and for negative numbers we can't find the factorial. So now let's see how we can write the C sharp program to find the factorial of a number. Here I have already written some code. We are using the system namespace and then I have created my own namespace called as factorial and inside this we have this class program and here we have this static void main method which is the entry point of our program. So the first thing that we do here is we will declare the variables. The first variable that we need is for storing the number entered by the user and I'm going to call it as number and another variable that we need is for storing the factorial value that we are going to calculate. I'm going to call it as factorial and I will initialize this with a value of 1. Here I'm taking integer type and that's why the number that we can enter for finding the factorial has to be a smaller number. If you want to find the factorial of larger numbers then uh, you have to follow a different approach. For example if you enter 100 for this program then this integer type variable factorial which is going to contain the factorial value is not large enough to hold the factorial of the number 100 so you know we will get inaccurate results so here uh, we will uh, stick with the smaller numbers now the next thing that we do is we will ask the user to enter the number so i'm going to use the console dot right line method and uh, here i'm going to say enter the number and we will read the number entered by the user console dot read line method and this read line method will return the user input in string form and we will convert that to integer form by writing convert dot to int 32 method and uh, after that we will store that in our number variable okay now we have the number for which we can find the factorial now the next thing that we have to do is we have to check what the user has entered if the user has entered a number let's say a negative number then uh, we have to display the message saying that can't find the factorial for negative numbers if the user has entered the number 0 or 1 we can directly print out the uh, message saying that factorial is 1 and if the user has entered a number greater than 1 then uh, we have to find the factorial and display it so we will use the if conditional statement here and the condition here will be we will check whether the number variable containing a value which is less than 0 it means user has entered a negative number so we will use the console.writeLine method and we will display the message as can't find the factorial of negative number and after that we will check whether the user has entered the number 0 or 1 so here the condition will be number less than or equal to 1 now one thing you have to remember here is if the if condition fails here then only it will come to the else if part and here if this if condition fails that means that the user has not entered a negative number so user has entered 0 or a number greater than 0 and here in this else if we are checking whether number is containing a value less than or equal to 1 it means it will check for only 0 or 1 in this case we will display the message saying that the factorial is 1 so I'm going to use a placeholder in here and I'm going to say factorial is equal to another placeholder and we need to provide the value for these placeholders 
so it will be number and the value present in the factorial variable now if the user has entered a number greater than one then we will go to the else part and we will find the factorial and we will display that to the screen so all we have to do is if the user has entered 4 then we have to perform 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 so what we do is we will use a for loop in here and uh, we need a loop counter variable i'm gonna call it as counter and i will initialize this variable with the value of the number variable and here you can write this program in multiple ways this is just one way the condition here will be or for how long we want to continue this for loop that is count a variable containing a value greater than or equal to 2 you know multiplying the number with 1 will not make any change to the result so we will skip that so we will uh, run this program until this count a variable contains a value uh, greater than or equal to 2 and after that we will decrement the value of the count a variable that's because we are starting from the number and we have to come backwards for example if the user is going to enter 4 then we have to start from 4 and we have to come up to 2 4 3 2 like that so here what we do is we will write factorial equal to factorial multiplied by counter so what happens here is let's assume that the user is going to enter the number 4 and then this condition will fail and this condition will fail so we will come to the else part so this counter variable and then we have this factorial variable factorial variable is initialized with one and here this counter variable will be initialized with the value of this number variable which is four now after that this condition will be checked whether counter variable is containing a value greater than or equal to two yes counter is containing four which is greater than or equal to two so we will perform this one factorial equal to factorial multiplied by counter factorial is containing one so we will perform one multiplied by four we will get four and we will store that in this factorial variable now the factorial variable will contain four after that the counter variables value will be decremented by one so the counter variable will now contain three again this condition satisfies because three is greater than or equal to two so we will perform factorial multiplied by counter so factorial is containing four counter is containing 3 so we get 12 and that will be stored in the factorial variable so the factorial variable now get 12 after that counter variables value will be decremented by 1 so it will become 2 and again it, this condition satisfies because counter is greater than or equal to 2 2 is greater than or equal to 2 so uh, we will perform this multiplication again this time the factorial will get 24 and the counter variables value will be decremented by one so this time it will become one and now this condition fails because counter is containing one which is not greater than or equal to two so we come out of this for loop and when we come out of this for loop in this factorial variable we have the value of the factorial so we will display that to the screen so i'm going to copy this statement and i'm going to paste it in here so we are just displaying the factorial so now we have uh, written the program in here let's run this enter the number i'm going to enter 4 it says 4 factorial equal to 24 now here since we are using this integer type we have to enter smaller numbers otherwise this integer type can't hold the factorial of larger numbers so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video